Lowrance markets the Elite TI as a premium standalone unit, and they market the HDS Gen 3 as the unit that does it all. So let's take a look into the menu here and just see what differences we're going to have. I'm going to go into the pages here, and you can see right away with the HDS, I can use the keypad um, as it has a full keypad. With the Elite TI, I'm going to have to use the touch screen in order to get into some of these settings here. So we'll go into the system menu and we'll take a look at uh, advanced here. Once we're here, we're going to go into features. So you'll notice there's a lot more features available to the HDS Gen 3. Part of the reason of this is it has an Ethernet port, which we'll take a look at shortly in the physical differences between the units. So both units have sonar. The HDS Gen 3, you're going to notice it has the ability to do spotlight scan. They both can do structure scan. The HDS Gen 3 can do radar, Sirius, satellite, and the Sonic Hub audio server. We also have C-Zone control available on the HDS. And both units can do autopilot control, albeit it's a little limited on the Elite TI, where it can only control the motor guide XI-5 trolling motor. It will not work at this point with the Lowrance outboard pilot. One other option you'll notice that is missing from the HDS 7 Gen 3 unit is the ability to do the Structure Scan 3D. That is available only on the HDS series. This unit's software currently does not have that, um, but that's about the only feature that's going to be missing from this software version. So when we come to our landing screen here, we see one other option that's only available on the HDS Gen 3 with purchase of an optional video cable and that is the ability to do video input. This is something that will not work through Ethernet, so if we had a, a unit Ethernet connected to this, it will not um, transfer the video through Ethernet. It's only available to the display that the video is connected to. Outside of that, the menu, the main menu in the center of the screen with page selection is very similar, along with the pages along the right-hand side here. These are custom pages that you can build. Along the left-hand side, we have your vertically scrolling menu and uh, there's really no difference that I've noticed here between these two. There is wireless connectivity on both units so you will have the ability to access the GoFree shop as well as do um, software upgrades through Wi-Fi where you do not need to bring a um, multimedia card to the computer in order to do that. It will direct download to the card that's in your card slot. One other thing a lot of people forget on these units is the power key functions as a quick access key to this menu. Now you'll notice on the HDS we have the audio and radar option on there. That is the only difference between the Elite TI and HDS. So you have a lot of functions in here. We can go directly to our settings menu. We have our power off and standby, brightness control, night mode, and touch lock. We also have our wireless settings. And this is the most common access setting in here where people have difficulty locating it, but it has moved into this setting is your data overlay. This will allow you to adjust what numbers and how big they are on the screen that you have. You notice we have autopilot control in here as well. Again, you'll only be able to use the XI-5 motor guide trolling motor with the autopilot controls on the Elite TI, where you can also use that on the HDS 7 Gen 3. But on the HDS 7 Gen 3, you can use their outboard pilot as well.